doctors, there were like um, thousands of soldiers. Yeah. So the army started to hesitate. Yeah. Because they said, okay, they have the same number mm -hmm. and they are in a castle, so mathematically you cannot get them. Mm -hmm. But also, who will develop the way of fighting and winning what? He will uh, always outflank them. Mm -hmm. He'd use a different way of strategy. Mm -hmm. So that's why he was formidable. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said he was killed by a, a woman, <laughs> a woman officer, because she fights in a different way. She does so, fight in a way, much stronger. Yes. The Bible she about learn, that. Uh, strategy. That's how King David fell and King Solomon fell, yes. of, the, of ancient Israel. Yeah. And then, and then uh, the system was adopted by the, the Romans after. Mm. So what the Romans would do, mm. all people, they would put their strong army mm. in the middle, mm. and then the, on the right and left side, the, the weak. Mm. And they would fight, mm. in a way protecting the strong. Mm. So what Julius did, one of the commanders, he did what? He put the weak army in the middle and the strong army on the side. Mm. So while they were fighting, the strong would beat the weak. Right. But then suddenly they were all surrounded. Oh my, that's genius. I, I, you guys know StarCraft? StarCraft 2? Yeah. I'm a very good StarCraft 2 player. I'm a very good StarCraft 2 player. I'm, I'm pretty good. Yeah, I, I stopped playing. I stopped playing waste of time, but not complete waste of time. When it's not, but when younger is Yeah. It's good. So you got the last one, Legacy of the Void. Uh, I've, only, I've only starter editions. Never paid a cent. I'm, a, I'm very frugal. <laughs> very frugal. I, I shop at uh, Goodwill. All my clothes. This I got it for eleven dollars at Goodwill. This I got at Goodwill for like uh, seven dollars. This shirt I got like uh, it's, a t it's like three dollars. These jeans I got for like I think ten dollars. These shoes I got like eighteen dollars. I'm very frugal. So you have to be when you're poor. So, no, I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm, but you know, my parents are fine. It's a good thing to take care. It's fun. I don't know, but um, I, it's just even if I had money, I wouldn't spend. Uh, that, I don't know. I don't know. But okay, you reminded me of something with um. Okay, the, the women thing, right? So a different strategy. When 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 Rome fell and they fell into the different uh, different countries, you know, in France and, and the Visigoths and all you know, all the countries you see today, they tried to unite uh, by by intermarrying. So they tried to unite by you know, oh, your 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 principles. Yes, yeah. and so to try to unite Europe again, but it never united. Even they try to unite the EU. Nope, it's not uniting again. Because guess what? The Bible says they would they wouldn't. I was telling about George about um, Daniel chapter two. Talking about how the head of gold is the uh, Babylon came down, then it was the uh, chest of silver, uh, Greece. I'm sorry, Middle Middle Persia, and then Greece, and then Rome. And and, and um, chest and arms of silver, Middle Persia, and then brass um, um, thighs, Greece, and then the two legs of iron, Eastern and Western Rome, and then the the, the ten toes that the dream that uh, that, that the king, uh, king king of Babylon got. Ten toes represent the ten divisions of Rome after it fell. And then three would be killed, three would be lost. The um, Heruli, the Visigoths, and the Vandals were killed by the, 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 the little horn power that came up, which, is, uh, which was the, the, Roman, uh, the Holy Roman Empire, which had destroyed uh, the Visigoths all, all before 538 AD. And 538 AD was when the, the Holy Roman Empire was established, and they ruled it for 1,260 years, which is what was prophesied in the Bible, uh, to 1798. And in 1798 was when uh, um, uh, one of uh, Napoleon's generals came and arrested the Pope and put him in prison, and he died in prison. So in Revelation, it talks about the beast suffers a deadly wound, and with, and with the deadly wound was healed. And then all the world will wander at the beast. So all the world will kind of unite under under the uh, the Pope. and um, the, uh, That's just a theory. That's one interpretation. But you can read for yourself. Yeah, no, I, I read that also because... Uh in college, we had uh, a lesson where it was, uh, we had to choose, you know, for credits a lesson. Mm -hmm. And one of the lessons I did it was uh, ancient, uh, ancient tactics and theories. Mm -hmm. My dad's very Catholic, and I love him, and many Catholics are going to heaven. Now I'm talking about bad guys, I'm talking about the, the highest up, the Vatican. You know, when, you know, when they covered up these like, and stuff like that. So we love that Catholic people. There are a lot of Catholics going to, going to heaven. But the, um, the system, like I said, I, I love Jews, but... And oh, I'm sorry, I love America, Americans, but the government, I have a problem with government. That's, that's what we mean. That's what we mean. Yeah, it's always corrupt. When power corrupts, absolutely. When you have that much power and that much wealth, the Vatican is very, very, you know. So you, you crave and you have bad elements that come into it and they crave power and they change things and so like that. Then you have, you know, you have the Protestant Reform Reformation, Martin Luther and other things. But anyway. I'm sorry? Do you watch serious? Serious. Serious. 
Sirius XM. The, the, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't really watch movies like documentary stuff. I watch like YouTube channels and learn, learning about things and stuff. But not. You should check House of Cards. House of Cards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's about the uh, uh, White House. Yeah, yeah. It's very. They're very. Oh, they're very cunning. You're gonna tell me not to eat this, right? You're gonna, uh, this dropped here. Are you gonna tell me not to eat this? It's a Conru. Go for it. Ah, thank you. Thank you. It's not you can go for it. See, I was the filter. If I only grab for a second, he said, "I'll get a new filter." This filter's fine. I'm a man. I'm a mechanic. As a man, we eat oil. Sometimes we eat oil. When it gets <laughs> You really? I, survived, I survived in China. I know what's the matter. Oh. Okay, but not the filter in the ground where everybody's standing. Uh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Maybe this thing was clean. Mm. Magic. Oh. We would see. Yeah. Long tail. <laughs> if I don't see you in the sky being the cover of this, I don't know why. Yeah. 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 You know, and Napoleon, Napoleon and those Germans, they knew about the prophecy in the Bible. And so what they did was, they, they took a head, and they put themselves at the head, and they said that, oh, we will defy God, we will break the prophecy. What happened was, you know what defeated them? A light rain. And all the all of his artillery was bogged down, a light rain defeated them. So that's why wisdom is better than wisdom. So God, he just sent a little light rain, and then they lost. So that's the same way he's dressed, like Napoleon. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he tried to touch the Russians. Yeah, the Bible says, but... In the ten toes, but they, but they shall not cleave to one another as dirt. I mean, a metal and, and miry clay shall not cleave to other. Clay in the Bible represents a uh, religion. Miry clay, or dirty clay, represents a corrupted religion. So it, it was representing a, 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 a combination of church and state, which is what, what it was. A combination of church and state. And so what it, the Bible says in Revelation is that there will be church and state again in the future uh, because of uh, certain things. But anyway, yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> Confucius, yeah, yeah, very good wisdom. I do actually. I have it on my. I get it every day. Art of art, um, all sorts of things. Dale Carnegie and uh, oh, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love. I, I, oh, and um, what's his name? Uh, How to win friends, influence people. Um, uh, yeah, Dale Carnegie. Yeah, I always different quotes from at least ten people. I love Tony Robbins. He's one of the best. Tony Robbins. Um, I'll tell you real quick. He's talking about this woman who's a sixty-eight-year-old woman. And, and Tony Robbins, you know, like like lawyers and like police officers and like customs agents, you have to be able to size people up. Right? You have to be able to, it's one second, they're like, oh, found him, he's, he's, he's hiding something. So, um, so uh, I have no sleep. What was I talking about? <laughs> okay, okay, so you have, to, you have to be able to read people. And before that, you have to be able to read, read people. I completely lost my friend. I'm so tired. You have no idea how tired I am. I, I, I was about to pass out when I was standing. Relax. Yeah. Breathe, does it? How about a 60 year old? Oh, yeah, 60 year old woman. That's right, 60 year old woman. So he, he told her, um, and, and he, he uh, Tony Robbins is a Christian, but he says, um, he, sometimes he'll, uh, okay, what is it? He says, you're a man. He says, he curses in order to really invoke a response because he's a psychologist, you know what I mean? No cause to agree, though. And so he said, um, and a horrible background as a child, horrible pain, and stepfather is six, uh, stepfather I mean, it's terrible. And he says, you're, uh, you're, and she, she, you're a man, you're an effing man. Because she said that, uh, uh, um, because her father was abusive to, to uh, both her sisters. But her little sister, when he was abusive, she would cry. And so um, she, she would teach she would, she would, not fine. Well, not totally fine, but you know what I mean. But she would, 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 would just react in anger. So, so she became very masculine. She became like a tomboy. And so what happened was, as she grew, grew older, she just became a very masculine. Even the way she, she held herself, her clothes, when she talked, very masculine. And even before I knew it, before I even Tony Robbins knew it, knew that probably um, her husband was probably like, um, more fe and feminine or more emasculated. And it was. She wore the pants in the family because of her relationship. And when she heard that, her eyes widened up. Like, wow, it makes perfect sense. Because, you know, when you have hot and hot, red and red, it doesn't work. When you have red and blue or one, one positive and negative, it doesn't work. Because with two or two, two angry, and then... It just made her harder and harder and more, more, you know. So I'm thinking about we kids. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. So, yeah, but so the next day, she tried to be more feminine. She got like a pink scarf thing. And then, you know, a year later, she, her life changed. She was so much better and happier and more uh, feminine. She embraced her feminine side, you know, and not be so masculine and angry and bitter all the time. No, it's not. No, 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 no. Ignorance is a bliss. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's kind of sarcastic oh. because they say you have knowing something you are in a ignorant state mm -hmm. like example I'm wearing a blue t-shirt George 
You might hate blue, you might like blue, or vice versa. He doesn't speak, I'm, uh, I'm in an ignorant state. Or I'm doing something that is not correct, but I will never expect that this is wrong. Mm -hmm. So this comes to another point. If, if, if a person is not educated, mm -hmm. his ignorance level is higher. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's how what uh, Stalin did. It's like, you cut the education, so you can't control the crowd. So education is a key factor to, let's say, widen your thoughts. How you think, mm -hmm. how you react, yeah. and you can see that from previous generations. Because the more we evolve, the more we learn, the more open we are. Mm -hmm. But then now it came like a boomerang. Mm -hmm. The more we, we demand, and sometimes in a very rude and improper manner, like what happens now with the young people, mm -hmm. they demand respect. Yeah, they don't, they don't work for. It. It's like if someone comes to me and he demands respect to me, I will make him a simple question. Okay, give me three factors, why should I give you respect? Prove me three times why. Give them something to me. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of a circle, I know. How you see it? Then again, this is my thought, you know. And thoughts, you know, they get mixed up and they get different theories and everything. Depending even from your lifestyle and you know, even the way you eat, as you said. Yeah. It, it, all, it all stems from, you know, no one, everybody, if, if, you have people, if you have people in your family, it's this one thing. We have, uh, everybody, everybody, uh, everybody has this one thing pain. You know, and, and uh, scientifically speaking, it's true. We inherit things from our parents. I inherited some alcoholism from my dad, some anger from my dad. I'm better now, but you know, I got counsel and I read books and stuff. Uh, it reminds me of Goodwill Hunting. You ever watch that movie with Matt Damon, Goodwill Hunting? But Goodwill Hunting is very, very smart, but because he was, he was abused as a child, you know, he, he just wanted to lay brick and be with a friend and have beers. I want that too. I don't want to be smart. I, I wish I was dumb so I could just buy a horse and go live in the mountains and not bother anyone. And just, yeah, be, or just you know, just be lay brick and be, you know have a beer after so work. You came, so you came to my part. Ignorance is a blessing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Full circle, man. Yeah, so uh, I know. So then I know so that you want. You crave to be ignorant. So yeah, it's a simpler life. I want to fix cars and, and like, hang out with uh, the guys. I have friends. They say, I wish I was in the in the old days. I was. When you make like a hundred bucks, it's like your whole, your whole life. No, I'm on a horse with a sword. If I don't like someone, I chop his head off. It's a big brute. So, you know, it's, it's not, I think you it's a, all is a big circle. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. The only the only bounty I found sometimes is the uh, blind for the people that they follow a direction. Sometimes it's religion, mm -hmm. sometimes it's their political thoughts, mm -hmm. sometimes it's their background. Mm -hmm. they, they are not open at least to listen. Right, right, right. Doesn't mean that I'm right. Yeah. I used to be atheist. I used to hate God I used to hate the Bible the most. I listen. I read all. Of, I studied all religions. I studied New Age religions. I studied uh, what is it? Um, I studied the esoteric religions. I studied Freemasonry. You guys know about Freemasonry? Oh really? Oh, so you learned about it? A lot of things, and I found uh, you know everything. Everything is connected. Everything is connected. Yes, you know, and we find science as well. You know, some. <laughs> The short for the wheel of the gold. Mm -hmm. But then again, you know, the short theories. So you mix them all and then you get your own idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I thought they were peanuts. Those are like fancy nuts. Oh, no, I, oh yeah, sure. Okay, I'll have some. You know, they are that vegan, no worries. It's so good. It's so healthy for you, yeah. Oh, man. This has been one of the most interesting conversations ever. That's about all. Astrovia. That's that right? Nastarovia. Nastarovia. How do you say Taiwan? Uh, in the Vietnam, you say, uh, yo, just yo, mo pai bao, yo, which is just in. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, come back. Cheers, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna find this. That's crazy. I always laugh when I see the rapper. I'm sorry? 
Rumble. 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 So they bundled all the films and they cut that part and they remade it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. How is life? For me, I'm getting married. I'm happy. Um, you know, my, my we, we we had you know my my mother because after the war my dad's POW six years, so it. You affects him, and he also got hit in the head strap, so he became a drunk, and he was violent and stuff. And so my mother uh, uh, left him. When I was three years old, left him, and went to uh, across the across the U.S. And then um, found a chef. We had a chef father. He was abusive. He was abusive. You know, yeah, my chef father. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so what's up with you guys? I don't know, at least you know. Whatever no, you, you know, no, Tony Robbins, he came through worse. Oh, Nick Wojcik, born without arms and legs. And look at him, beautiful wife, goes all around the world, and, and he makes, and he's a millionaire. The two beautiful sons, you can, you, he, Tony Robbins says, you can turn your greatest pain into your greatest gift, if you know how to. And so, you know, good things always come from bad. Some of the, the, some of the best people in the world, some of the strongest people in the world, most successful, came from the worst backgrounds. And some people with perfect backgrounds, Spend the rest of their lives in and out rehab. I still, I still have the line directly from Tony Robbins. You know what I believe? Yeah. For a person to snap, it's a moment. To what? For a person to snap. Yeah. One moment. That's why I gotta save from that because I've snapped a lot of times on that. It's only a moment. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a. Uh, you guys know, um, you guys know Kellogg, Dr. Uh, Kellogg um, cereal and granola, Kellogg cereal corn flakes. Kellogg's, yeah. yeah, Kellogg's. Yes, did you know that he's Sunday nurse? Yeah. He's Sunday nurse. Doctor Kellogg. He was a doctor. He was the Tesla of medicine. George, I hear this. George. Yeah. You know, uh, do you know Kellogg? Uh, Kellogg cereal, Kellogg cereal. Yeah. Corn flakes. He was a Sunday nurse. He was a, a vegetarian vegan. And he, he, he talked about the, uh, about the, how, how it's bad to masturbate too much, lose too much semen. Even the, the Buddhist sects, who are eventually vegan, they say that one drop of, of semen is worth to 100, 100 drops of blood. And so they say that, you know, too much of anything is a bad thing, right? You know, everything in moderation. But anyway, he, he treated, he had Battle Creek Sanitarium, and um, if you ever watch Road to, to Wellville with uh, Matthew Broderick, he's making fun of him. Anyway, he treated Henry Ford, who made the first car. He treated uh, Sojourner Truth, one of the pioneers of, of black rights. He treated um, Amelia Earhart, who, who flew around the world in an airplane. He even kept in. He even invented, he made cornflakes. He made cornflakes. He invented granola, and he used natural means in order to cure, cure people of their diseases and stuff. He wrote a book called Plain Facts for Young and Old, which is one of the incre most incredible books I've ever read in my life so, in unhealthy. Sorry to break sure, your sure. heart, but he stole that pattern from his brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, fine, whatever. In that, <laughs> they, they make porn like that, but it worked out, it's fine. But he, he, did, he, did, he did incredible, incredible medical research that science today has yet to catch up with. And even every day, it starts to confirm what he, what, he, what he did. So, and they try to suppress his, um, his medical research, but it, it's incredible. And, um... That's why we, we, uh, kind of, uh, everyone, everyone, just actually, oh, there can be a can be a whatever you need, you think that I need this one, mm -hmm. you can be a mentor. If you oh. find something that you need, you can be a mentor. Right, right. So simple. No, but he uses natural foods. He uses natural, natural food, the, uh, hydrotherapy, like you hot powder. You know, the two biggest inventions in money wise and Keep growing on this. What's that? Tooping. <laughs> and uh, how do you say it's on the roads, but the clothes, the sticks, clothes, oh, the roads. Low sticks. 
Oh, or the, the same thing, six across. Oh, flares? No flares. This one, the side of the road that blows. No, that uh, is post Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's post for it. It's the two biggest match. Two thick and this kind of thing. Wow. And the two press from the vent, this one, thick, thick. Leaving from this one without even one of Two support here. Right, right. Two thick. Two thick. It's funny, it's like, yeah. Uh, Guy who invented dog crow or something like that. Oh, I'll, give you, I'll give you a smaller. Uh, a smaller no, no, no. I give, the guy who invented the end of, of your uh, shoelace. The guy invented the end of the shoelace. Millionaire. I mean, lived lots of life just on that. Okay. You go to take a coffee from a from a shop. Yeah. When you take the coffee, you you put cardboard paper, right? Yeah. You know the guy that invented this cardboard paper. Mm -hmm. He made sixty million dollars oh, in three months. Wow. You guys watch Shark Tank, ABC? It's like no. Dragon's Den. Dragon's Den or Shark Tank. It's like entrepreneurial show. They have five, uh, five or six really rich people. And they have people pitch their ideas. A I lot of people. Yeah. You know, I, think, I think it's a bit of a setup that as well. No, well, yeah. Just, uh, I don't think so. No, Some, sometimes, sometimes, yes. Yeah. yeah. No, it's amazing. It's, it's just it's strange. Wisdom. It, wisdom is better than gold, what the, the, the Proverbs said. Yeah. Wisdom is weapon of war. That's actually Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Yeah. That story about the. Hi. Yeah. Hey. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Women like to hear things, though. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I, I'm Vietnamese American. Oh. Italian. Vietnamese American. Australia. Australian. You know, you, we, got the whole world we got the whole world covered right here. And we are in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. It's amazing. I um go to Thailand and uh, Vietnam and marry marry my girlfriend of two years. Um, I had broken up with my my, my ex girlfriend who was a Chinese Indonesian. I met her at AFCO, Mission Sac Center of Evangelism, in our church. And then um I went up, when we broke up and then I went to Vietnam and I said you know what enough, enough of these um, girls in church let's try a Gentile girl. And so I, I just went and dated a whole bunch of girls because I read books on how to date girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I need all the help I can get. As long as the name is Mary, I get to I've got relatives in Australia. Melbourne. Melbourne, which is the uh, the um, less uh, the inferior uh, Sydney. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I just made it up. Or, I'm not sure if they are rivals. I'm sure they are. Uh, I, I think so. Perth, uh, they make gold. They make gold. Oh. Well, I feel my friend is in Australia. It's more easy to get killed in the sea instead of the land. Because he's a diver as well. So. No, I really want to visit Australia. Oh my goodness, I've been I've been reporting. Uh, 